is it? Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my food, my food island way, Nicolas food. Cheers, and um, yeah, I just wanna say I hope you all enjoy your Mother's Day. Um, yeah, I forgot to finish off my video. <laughs> And when we went to the park, and yeah, so I come up here to finish it up. <laughs> oh, something on my head. Okay, we had a beautiful Mother's Day. Mom's very happy, and young mothers in the family. And we had a great time in the park, celebrating Mother's Day. And um, yeah, um, I'm gonna show you some video of um, me. Uh, we're making a tuna pasta. And then we cook the the jam and the lamb and vegetable. And then um, what do you call the olive color? <laughs> um, what <are> you? <laughs> Cheers, guys. Um, I hope you're all well and safe. And um, yeah, have a good week. Cheers. Yeah, most of the time now I'm just cooking and not showing uh, my face because you know you can't put a pureness with food. <laughs> okay, guys, um, I'll let you watch the the rest of the video, and I'll see you in the next video. After that, thank you for watching, guys. We're here to India shop to buy some taro. Sign up there. Huh? Then go over here. Yeah. Nice tile for the Mother's Day. Quite a little tile. That's green bananas, pumpkin, chocolate, beans, bananas, eggs. Avocados. All the herbs. Okay. You come shopping here, you get everything you're looking for. Okay, it goes a long way and all other things here. Nice danger there. Ball ball. Nice bananas. One stop shopping. The vegetables here. Yeah. Okay, I'll pick my turn. Hi hey guys. Um, happy Mother's Day. Today is Mother's Day, Sunday Mother's Day. And here's my lamb. And it is noodle, eggplant, capsicum, carrot. Those are peas, some taro, some coconut cream. I'm going to cook some taro with coconut cream and do a stir fry. Like a chow mein. Okay, and now uh, we go to the park and have our barbecue. Okay, guys. Hi, hey guys. Um, at first, we're going to start with um, pasta, with um, tuna pasta. We're going to have a little something to eat first, and then um, we'll start with our uh, olive color and um, chow mein. See how many. Yeah? Okay, let's um, have some pasta first. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Hey, guys, we're making um, tuna pasta and we got a boil in hot water, and now we put a pasta in it and bring it back to the boil. Okay, that's our pasta for our tuna pasta. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, guys, um, the pasta's cooked now, the water's drained off. Now we're adding the onions. Into the pasta, and still stove still on. One of these, and now adding one tin of tuna. One can of tuna. Oh, the shapes there for to the heat. Just mixing it around. Tuna pasta. Oil off the tuna. And the oil. 
you know, tuna with oil, not tuna with water. Okay. Hey guys, um, we're stuffing up the onions and uh, that first seed of tuna is uh, mixed through the um, pasta and uh, thing and now we add green peas and a second seed of tuna, can of tuna, tuna with oil in it, not a oil. Now we're going to add a little bit of salt. Yeah, and I'm um, gonna add some of that pasta creamy thing. I'm testing my skill um, camera work. Actually, I'm good. <laughs> no. Okay, um, we'll rinse up that bottle and put more in there with a bit of milk. And put it in there with our pasta, tuna pasta. Mm -hmm. We've got, got to add some basil, pesto. pesto. You know, if you want to bring your pesto with home, then we add that pesto. Don't need to step me. Okay, let's mix it all up. Just stir in the pot, guys. Very, very creamy and yeah. The stove's still on and it's on low. A tuna. Faster. Okay, guys, um, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, our pasta is finished. Tuna pasta. Got the pasta, the green peas, the tuna. I don't want that shade on there. And yeah. Some turn it off and some to eat it. Okay, thank you and welcome. Hey yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching and um, yeah, it's a um Mother's Day weekend and today is um Marigo. Um, Friday night. And Mother's Day, go along. We've got um, some parmesan cheese. Mm. I really wanted that to um, onto a tuna pasta. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, I'll turn this down a bit. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you can um, put a whole pasta there and a tuna, everything. Mm. The sound of there in my waterfall, my catch water. Mm. Yummy. Cheers, guys. Beautiful. Tuna. Mm. Hey guys. Mm. Big chunk of tuna. Bring it up. 
Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up now. Okay, that creamy pasta. Tuna, pasta, onion, green beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The pasta and a crunch from the veggies and the onion. Mm -hmm. Yummy, guys. And I think about having more. Bye bye. Thank you. Guys, okay, so I'm getting my taro. I think I do it to my farifucalo. So that's what you know. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. I'm really nice with Tina. Sunday morning, and yeah. I'm cooking. We're gonna have a barbecue with the park for the family and the mom. This is really noisy. But I am more of what I am. I'm going for our top of here. This is your color. Okay, I'm gonna value all this color and I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Hey guys, so I bought this boil it's on the stove. And I'm going to add half a lemon in our water. The reason of this, so our fatty avocado don't go sloppy, I tell And I add a whole half a skin. Okay, our tar is here. Oh, camera's stuffed up again. Sorry, guys. Okay. We got some, um, we add our turn into the, it's all peeled and okay. Then we're going to add all our turns here and start cooking it. Okay. We'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, one brown onion, one onion. I'm going to cut it very small. This for the coconut for our tar. Okay. Okay, put our coconut cream. Straight in the bowl. I show this to you before, guys. Okay, squeeze it all out. Okay, one glass of water. Some soap. Now, but I'll clean your hand. Make sure your hands wash. Salt on the onion. The palm of your hand. 
Bu lafın ne? Sorun ne? Söyle ona otur. Okay. Rest of the onion on your palm of your hand. And it does. And then put it in there and squeeze it. Squeeze it with the salt. And just make a mess here. Yes, spraying in it. It's a coconut cream for uh, Carlo. For this Carlo. Yeah. Squeeze the onion in there so when they boil it in the coconut cream it melts into the coconut cream. It's not um, crunchy. As I said before, I don't like crunchy um, coconut cream. Oh, I don't like crunchy onion. Perfect. Don't need that anymore. Okay, I'll be back. Hey guys, our lambs are here. Cutting up our lamb. Cut it very small, cut it in straight bones. We need a very sharp knife. And it cuts through the bones at the bottom. So we'll cook our lamb up for a quick while. Using a sharp knife for us. I mean very sharp knife. We can cut through the bones. You don't really need the meat on this because it's um, stir fried veggies, but they're not nowadays. Men's a soup now. <laughs> okay, guys. Here's our lambs all cut up. All I have to do is put it in a pot and start cooking it when our color's ready. Our body of color's ready. Get back in a sec. Hey guys, I've got to tell you I'm going to add um, cucumber too in our stir fries. Now all our veggies here. Carrot, capsicum, cucumber, eggplant. So I've got lots to um, cut up at the moment. But taking my time, um, we're going to have a barbecue in the park at, where do you go? At one. So I've got plenty of time, but I need to get there to get a spot. Hey guys. Oh. What's on the stove? Okay, put our lamb in there. Put that in the pot. Put our taro there. One glass of water. And let it boil and steam. You know, until the water's frying, start frying our lamb. Okay. Hey guys. Oh. Carlo now is cooked. Just have to put it out of coconut cream here. So you dip all the onion in it. That's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the fork. Sweep our onion on the bottom, but don't worry, it'll be cooked anyway because it's already, already squished. Okay, so we bring it to the boil, put a lid on it until it's boiled, and there's our lamb in there cooking nicely. I'm gonna take the lid off it now, I don't want it to be boiled. Get all that water to you know. By the time that water's gone, it's all fry. It's starting to fry. Soon enough. Okay. That's all. Ready for the boil. Hey guys, I'm gonna add a bit of salt on our lamb. It's cooking nicely. 
Get a bit of salt and a bit of white pepper. There. Try to record the same time you're cooking, it's um, difficult. Okay, there you go, guys. A lamb, it's gonna fry soon. Hey guys, welcome back. Look, I'm gonna add those cucumber in there. I'm gonna add it with seeds because it's nice in um, stir fry. I've got eggplants and carrots all cut up. Got two different um, color um, capsicum, and I've got garlic and onion in there. Yeah, and this is the last thing we're gonna add in our stir fry. Look at the crunch of it. And now noodle. Okay, and uh, you know what happened to those cucumber? But they're stuck together. Okay, back in a second, I'm gonna cut the cucumber. Yeah. Hey guys, our lamb is fried now. I have to finish my cooking garlic and onion to add it. And give it a stir. So I'm going to draw the camera with one hand and cooking with one hand. But yeah, only the experienced people can do that. <laughs> and some of this. I really got pepper in there, guys. I'm gonna put a little bit of curry just for flavor. Oh, face upside down. Stir it in, guys, and fry a little bit. Let's fry our onion and garlic a little bit. Okay. Starting to smell good. Back in a minute. Guys, um, I'm going to add uh, some dried garlic. Some more flavor in our food. A little bit more. Really wanted our, our chow mein or whatever stir fry chow mein. That's really good. You guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of um, our mushroom sauce. Just give it that flavor. Yeah. Put our camera back so it doesn't affect it. Just give it another couple of stir, couple of minutes, and then I see we don't want, I still want now onion to crunch. Get a crunch in our onion. Hopefully, our lamb is cooked. Looks cooked, looks nice. So that water is gone. Okay. Let's fry it off a bit and I'll start adding our veggies. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna add a little bit more mushroom sauce for now. Beautiful flavored mushroom. Okay, now I'm gonna add the uh, eggplants and the carrots at the same time. Beautiful. i just give it a stir and give it um what? Five minutes before I add the other, I don't know that. Before I add a capsicum and a cucumber at the same time. See how easy it is, guys? They're nice and colorful. So to um, mix our veggies in. We're taking it in the pot so um we can warm it up over there again on the top of the barbecue. Yeah, everything works out. I'll give this our uh, carriage and our eggplants five minutes and 
I'll come back and add our cucumber and our capsicum. Okay. Hey guys. It's been five minutes with our carrots and our cucumber um eggplants. Now we're adding our cucumber. And to our food. Oh. And at the same time we're adding our capsicum. Beautiful and colorful. We just give it a stir and give it another five minutes and I'm gonna rinse off my noodle put my water into a warm water so it can open up Look at that color colorful enough to eat Okay, see our cucumber, I cut it with a um, bit of seeds in it, it's not really seeds. It's all that juice we needed in our, in our food. So, we give it a five minutes to let that juice out. The cucumber and the uh, capsicum, and then we're back to add our noodle and our sauce. What's the sauce? And our, our thing. Okay, be back in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, our veggies are half cooked now. I'm adding our noodle. That's a one pack of noodle. I'll see if I um, just now mix it around and the noodle will be cooked at a heat, just a low heat alone of our vegetable and our meat. So I'm gonna give this a good stir, put the camera down, and um and I'll finish it off with um some herbs. And our sauce. Food. Okay. You guys got some oyster sauce here. Yeah. There's so much I'm gonna use the whole bottle. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna rinse off that bottle with a bit of water and um add it on now. See, I've got two noodles, but I'm gonna, that's enough, just enough. You stir it too much, just take your spoon down on the bottom and sweep it up so it doesn't mess up our vegetable. Look at guys. Now, stir fry, chow mein. it's just about ready. Okay, one hand cookie, cooking, and some of those um, nice beautiful pieces for the crunch. I don't know where I'm recording. <laughs> okay, guys, just half of that back, and I'll give it a stir. Hey guys, welcome back. Here's our parsley and our coriander. Like you can see, the parsley is a bit darker than the coriander is lighter. Okay, all in there, I have fresh herbs. And just a matter of um, prepping my wooden spoon and stirring the stoves are really off, guys. Because we're going to warm this up again on a barbecue when we get there. So it's just cook and it's cooked perfectly. Everything's eh, in there. Okay. We are ready to go for our Mother's Day lunch. And here's our. Oh, it's a lit one coming. Wait a minute, guys. Just trying to show you my Fadi Fukano. And that's our Fadi Fukano. So with coconut cream in it, yeah, we're ready to go. Bit of packing things up and um don't forget anything and let's go see you there guys we're in the park now i forgot to record my video from the beginning and there's a lot of people here hope we can find a spot okay 
Hey guys, um, we all done now. Food's really yummy. Um, everything was yum. Had a really good time on Mother's Day and um, yeah, and families. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribe and yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Much love to you and your family and God bless always. And stay safe and well and happy. We'll see you for now.